Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of me drifting my Z. I'm just going to go over a few things. Uh, I didn't really change anything from the last event, um, except for I changed to 17-inch front tires or front front wheels um, with a three-spoke. Uh, I'm 225-45 uh, on a 17 for the Neo Gens. Last year, I just ran the Ironman up front, and uh, although they were great for the rear. Uh, they weren't the greatest for the front. They did cause me some understeer problems when they heated up. So now I have the Neogens up front, and when they get warm, they get super sticky. Um, I've done two events in the last um, month or so, since April 20th. This episode is kind of going to cover the April 20th event. It was a wet day. I originally put on tires that were old in the rear, and I didn't have very much grip. So I'll go over that as the video progresses. Um, but I got lots of content coming up. Uh, hopefully, I can do more events and get things going. Um, but yeah, I haven't really changed anything. Still just the maximum intake, um, pace setter headers, um, and just uh, basically stock NA VG30. Uh, uh, still don't want to put in a turbo. Still haven't done cams. Still have the stock subframe and all that. Up front, uh, as you know, I have more angles, so I have S13 front control arms, um, offset rack spacers, cut knuckles, and, you know, power tricks coils, all polyurethane bushings, you know. If you go over my old videos, I cover all that, so if you wanted to see more in-depth, just look back to my old videos and see what I've changed and see what works for me. No front sway bar has definitely helped to grip in the front because then I don't have um the fr front tires lifting um but uh yeah so i'm gonna get into the drifting now um it's at mission raceway there's lots of content uh like i said um from multiple sources so we'll get that going and i'll try and have some commentary for that and tell you some of the problems i had some of the successes i had but i'm getting really good at drifting i was scared of uh the walls but when I got in there in the rain I didn't really care too much about it I just tried to shoot towards the walls I hit a couple cones a couple tire walls you can see me hitting tires here but I you know didn't do too much damage to the car uh, I'm just trying to drive it hard um, get better at drifting and uh, I want to do it in this car um, regardless of how good or bad of a chassis it is this is the car I want to drift in so I'll get into the content now and you'll see how it goes I guess Okay, here I am rolling into the meet. Um, I daily this car, so I have it loaded up full of parts and tools and anything I need to get home, like to and from the track. Um, here I am doing a little skid, getting the line up, dust out the rear tires a little bit. Um, you can really see that they're slippery. Um, I only had them on for three laps. They were really hard to keep a slide, and uh, they weren't very predictable. Um, but once I changed them and got a few laps in, it definitely helped a lot. Here's an in-cap view. You can see that I was struggling with too much front grip and not enough rear grip. Um, I lowered the pressure a number of times and it still didn't help. I was also pretty scared of the walls um, when I first got out there. Um, this is my first time doing this layout. First time with all these walls and tire barriers around the track, so it was a bit intimidating at first, but once I hit a couple of them, it wasn't, uh, wasn't as bad. sitting right on the back tires so here's a run after I change the tires definitely a lot more grip you can see I struggle a little bit this is my first time drifting on a track since um, the Halloween drift day so it's been a while you can see that it's definitely easier a lot more grip in the rear um, I make a little mistake here end up in a little ditch and I end up going too far again in the tires again. The track was pretty slippery in this back section um, when it started to rain, but after I got kind of used to it, it wasn't so bad. Alright, 
so yeah, once I got a few laps in, it definitely, definitely helped getting some seat time in. You can see how much more confident I am now. Yeah, much smoother on my transitions and no e-brake. I have to come in pretty, pretty wide into this 90 degree here. So I got to set myself up to yellow drift into there. Um, I love this view of the GoPro. On my back fender, and you can see how close I get to the walls and um, how much angle my front tire is getting. favorite run of the night. You can see the drone following me. Um, pretty stoked on all the drone footage. But uh, the car is looking and feeling really good. I used to have a hard time transitioning more than one time or two times. Um, after each other, so I'm glad that I'm getting used to that. Um, it's all about seat time. It's the best mod. It's what everybody says. It doesn't really matter what you drive or how your style is. Um, everybody learns on their own pace. You can see I'm getting super confident coming in. Getting super used to being wet. Um, you can see the pedals forming there. But yeah, the drone guy was able to fly after it dried up a little bit. So he's got some drone footage, which is pretty sweet. Uh, ja big shout out to Jaggy FPV on Instagram. Um, great guy and great footage. You can see here, he follows, follows the car great. Keeps in the frame the whole time. Tries not to hit you, I guess. it's all about. You gotta spin out a few times and you gotta make a few mistakes in order to progress and get better. Here's an in-cab run of, uh, with Aaron Glennon, he took the video, um, pretty experienced driver, one of my favorite drivers out there, um, he's driven my car once and says it's a very hard car to drive, so it's nice to uh, see me actually getting out there and getting sideways and linking the track, kind of make a little mistake there, but don't, don't worry about it, just keep going, send it, no, I just hit the tires right there. Just got my bumper a little bit, that was the first time. Uh, I think the first time. But uh, this next little clip here, I hit uh, uh, the cone. You can see I'm bunting the cone. Blop. But uh, yeah, great night. Great night of drifting. Car did great. Okay, well that's the end of that video. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. It was uh, super wet. 
Um, I did enjoy the amount of sea time I got and learning in a uh, wetter environment. Um, definitely changing the grip of your tires in the rear helped a lot. Um, as you've seen, uh, I definitely got more used to it and more confident and sent it harder as the day progressed. Um, but I was finally able to link the track a number of times and it felt really good. Um, and then just recently, last week, I went to uh, an event and it was dry and I got about 40 plus laps. I got tons of content from there coming. I'm still waiting on the drone footage um, from Jaggy FPV on Instagram. Uh, big thanks to him. Big thanks to Brad Montgomery on um, he's Stop Media on Instagram. And uh, thanks to everybody else who helped me out uh, over the years and everything. They helped me get seat time and helped me, you know, help teach me what's best and what has changed and all that stuff. So big thanks to everybody who's helped out over the years. Um, but yeah, here it is, and I'm uh, pretty excited to continue to drift and hopefully don't hit too many things anymore. So yeah, good to go. I uh, I love it. Cheers, guys.